Hello, my name is Mariana and this is a reading for Aquarius. Um, so Aquarius, uh, I'm doing a reading with my own deck as usual. So the cards you'll see are from this deck. Uh, and I have to say, when I was shuffling your cards, I kept hearing this um, word refreshment. And it's something that I always feel when I reach Aquarius, uh, maybe because I started doing these readings, um, you know, for you, for your sign, but it feels like this new cycle throughout the zodiac signs. Um, and I kept hearing this word refreshment. And as soon as, you know, the cards started popping out and your first card that I'll show you in a second, uh, just confirmed to me that this word refreshment is bringing you this sense of freedom, freedom that is coming from uh, entering a new cycle. So we begin with nothing else but the full. And so this full card was showing me obviously the start of something new, the start of a new journey, a new cycle, a new path ahead. But what was mainly coming to me because, you know, what I was uh, seeing, you know, in my mind for you, Aquarius, um, it was like you hopping and jumping and skipping on this new path. So there is the sense of excitement and it's something that is uh, in another card. Also this excitement, this um, thrill for what's new, for what lies ahead. Um, but you know, this image of you just skipping and hopping like a child, but so carefree and this word freedom, you know, it has a lot to do with your energy, with your essence, but I feel like it has to do with starting something new or restarting something anew. Um, because I feel like somehow it's like whatever you're doing, whatever next phase you're traveling now, uh, this new path that is just opening up, yes, there is excitement, there is this uh, sense of freedom, but also there is this freedom because you have built an incredible safe harbor. So this four pentacles that followed the full card was showing me this safe harbor. And so the reason why you are so carefree, you are so free, you are so free and you can, so I'm hearing this word indulgence. So you can indulge in this freedom because you have built yourself this very strong, very stable foundation. And it feels like, um, it feels like a, a, a really strong home base you know, a place where you feel safe. Um, and you know, this is something that I always get with this card. This safe harbor, it doesn't need to be big. And it often comes with this image of a room or, um, you know, the confinement of these four walls that provide you this sense of safety. Um, but today it is coming through as home base very strongly. And it's almost like you're leaving home, right? It's, it's presenting itself like this, like you're leaving home. And it's interesting because of these two cards. So After the Four of Pentacles, we have the Magician and the Ace of Pentacles. But the interesting thing is these two cards jumped out together. And actually, this Ace of Pentacles was hidden behind the hat of the Magician. And so immediately I was asking, you know, and it was presenting, this Magician had this very mischievous, very... Um, very tricky character but not in a negative way just playing tricks in you you know to surprise you 
to surprise you with this beauty that is this ace of pentacles and so this is like this beautiful image that i'm seeing here it's you leaving the well i was going to say the constraints of your home base the limits that you were accustomed to right these walls but feeling very free and liberated to do so to leave because in a sense with this fool meeting the magician as soon as he steps out of the home base uh what i'm seeing here is this interesting dialogue between them it's like this character wants to surprise you with a gift wants to give you something that you you because they are the same element right the four of pentacles and the ace of pentacles i want to say it's not something completely new it's something that you in a sense there is fam familiarity i hope i'm saying that correctly familiarity because what made you build this um strong foundation is this knowledge of these resources and you know because they're pentacles perhaps you know physical tools physical um instruments that helped to build your home for instance right um so this gift that this magician is presenting it's like i was seeing him like um you know it's like he was introducing himself to you and by doing so he was playing this trick almost as if he was going to pull off uh you know the 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 rabbit out of the hat but instead it's not a rabbit it's something that you're familiar with you recognize it and you see the value in it that is why there is also this well this is the first character that you're meeting in this new path so you this famili familiarity this um it's like they are acknowledging that you are in the right path they're showing you that it's like they are leaving they are giving you, I was going to say, they are leaving the breadcrumbs, but that's not true. They are giving you the first piece of this new journey, this first breadcrumb, you know? Um, and it's something that it is exciting because of the way that they present it to you. As if it was this surprise, as if it was this magic trick that is so enticing and enchanting and just magical um but also so familiar so there is no fear even though this is a stranger basically this is someone that you don't know and the way that i'm seeing it's it's like yes it could be presented uh as another person right it could be someone embodied um but not necessarily because often i see the major arcana as very subtle very energetic beings very high frequency beings so this could be you know what i'm seeing now it's like for instance like my own language with my own guides is whenever i see a white feather crossing my path it is a sign to me uh well you may see in here one um uh to me these white feathers and they often appear in my path and it's interesting because one uh just crossed my path yesterday when i was uh going for a walk so anyways it's just a reminder anyways so for you what this means this symbol that this white feather could be just an example is that whatever physical element you find sorry about the noise um whatever physical element you find you know giving your first steps in this new journey in this new path it feels like it was put there it was pl 
placed in a very strate strategic and very magical position for you to find it purposefully because it's this uh, beauty in it. It's this surprise that it's thrilling, right? You see what I mean? So it's interesting because, well, we have these two cards and then I'll go to the last one in the bottom row. So we have the seven of swords and the nine of wands. So I'll start with the nine of wands because this is symbolizing this new path that the fool being you um, is traveling now, right? So this is this open path that uh, is being lit up for you. And often I see this card as this um, higher symbolism of an initiation path. But although traditionally it has this meaning of hardship and, you know, just bringing you down and um, draining your energy. Instead, what I'm seeing is whatever new path you're just starting to travel um, because of, you know, this first sign, this first gift, that it's just the first breadcrumb um, is making you see that even though there could be potentially challenges, right, along the path, it is very exciting. So this is interesting because this is the energy of this magician in a sense when they presented this gift, uh, you know, whether it was a person that gave you something or showed you something or just you finding something along the path and knowing that because it was so magically random uh, that you know the source of it. You know who put it there for you to find it. Um, and so this thrill that is already happening, um, it's also here. So this is showing me, this Nine of Wands is showing me, it's like giving me this bird's eye view of the whole path. and. It's interesting because what I'm receiving right now is like, this is not even the whole path. This is just, you know, a few meters ahead, um, a few miles ahead, uh, because it feels like this magician is just the first character that is handing you this first breadcrumb. So what I'm getting, especially because of the Seven of Swords, it's interesting what I'm seeing here is like, there is like, multiple things going on with the seven of swords first of all it came through as audience so whatever you are seeing receiving finding along your path it feels like it is this intimate encounter but it feels like you are not alone there it feels like there is an audience uh and i'm just asking if it's uh they're watching you find it or they're just there as um how do you call it like extras you know like in the background uh filling up the environment it's like this is this is a path that yes it's unique to you only you can travel but it's not that you're going alone and i don't mean that you have company although you know I want to reframe that with this magician, um, but it's, I feel like they are just, you know, showing you this first piece that you're going to find and then they exit because their mission was complete. Um, and so what I'm seeing here is that, yes, it's your, your path to travel on your own, but because of this seven of swords, there are others there. There are others in the same environment that you are. So yes, this first image of an audience, but then it shifted. And what I was seeing, it was this uh, beautiful circle of stones. And it's related also to this magician with this Ace of Pentacles. So it's like you're being handed something that 
although yes it is material is physical it is manifested it comes from this magical realm of the magician um and it feels like it feels like this is the first stop this is you know by skipping and hopping and just traveling carefree on this new path of yours uh you bump into this site that perhaps this is the breadcrumb that is making you stop this first stop um of this entire journey but there is a physical element that is taking you to this place and when you get there it's like there are others but as i said first it presented as audience as other people being there but now it's shifting this second vision this second um image that i'm seeing of this circle of stones it's like whatever is in the middle is this sacred piece that you're being handed by the magician and because this is swords this is air energy this is so subtle and you know usually i see air as um very spiritually connected as is the magician so i'm seeing what i'm seeing it's like this very foggy atmosphere around this circle of stones um and it doesn't have to be necessarily a circle of stones it's just the presence of this circle in very in a very uh ethereal form so it's interesting okay so when i said that ethereal form it's this joining up of these two energies air and earth so it's like this thought form so what i'm seeing when you're oh okay this is so beautiful so the true gift that the magician is giving you it's actually not the physical thing it's the message behind it and i just got goosebumps all over my body it's like it's like you're accessing this very ethereal this very energetic place that it's opening up your mind it's opening up your third eye it's like you're reaching the center of this circle and you're finding this jewel and this is just the first leg this is just the first stop in a way um because as i said it's like this is this is like the necessary piece that i want to reframe this i, I want to emphasize it's like not the value that it holds physically you see it's more this energetic and spiritual gift this opening up of your mind these thought forms that are now expanding because you have reached the center of it so this stop was necessary and yeah what i'm receiving is like that is the reason why this magician had to play this trick of not exactly show you showing you this uh gift that he was about to give you um in the first moment so it's like building up the energy because there's a long way still ahead especially because we have this queen of cups ending this first part of the, of the reading and i feel like this has a double meaning too so i was questioning if this is you or this is another and i feel like what i'm receiving right now it's clarifying to me that this is another and i feel like this is this next stop so this path that i'm seeing that it's not the entire path but it's the uh you know the journey ahead after you keep going from this first stop and it feels like you're going to meet this queen of cups in your next stop so it has to do with this pumping of the blood 
to your heart um, or from your heart, I want to say. Um, so the excitement that I was seeing here, because whatever gift you're receiving that is opening up your mind is making you see that what lies ahead is a path that uh, instigates you, that calls you. Perhaps this is the one calling you to travel this path towards them, towards this. Well, if here it's like your mind opening up, maybe, and we'll see in the extended, maybe this next leg of, uh, leg of the journey uh, is going to open up your heart, is going to pump your heart, is what I'm hearing, pump blood to and from your heart. So this is where we end um, this part of your reading for you, Aquarius. Uh, I'm going to pull more cards to see what is this uh, next leg, this next stop. Uh, and also I'm going to pull from the astrological runes as a final guidance for you in the extended. So if you want to join me, I'll be happy to see you. If not, I'll see you next time. Okay, bye.